Hi, this is Chris with Zylo Scooters. This video is to show you how to replace your batteries in an electric scooter or electric moped or motorcycle. With these batteries, they run parallel, uh, meaning that you have multiple batteries. You can have two or either six or eight batteries inside of your scooter, depending on you know how how strong your motor is and how many batteries it requires so they're saying parallel your batteries because you have to look at it as you're making all of these batteries into one battery so you have to look at it like you're creating one big car battery so as you see in this diagram these are four batteries the red wire from the bike is your positive and your don't get caught up in the colors of the wires because every scooter may have a different color so you're just looking at a positive for red and then the blue which yours may be black or whatever color and sometimes your wires may all be the same colors but for this for this video purpose the blue is your negative your red is your positive so if you look at this as a car battery Everybody knows a car battery only have two terminals, one positive, one negative. So as you see the wires coming from this bike, you see on one end, you have to make it from one end to the other end. The reason why you're joining all of these batteries together. So as they join together, at one end of the battery, you, you would use the positive at the other end, you would use the negative. Everything in between, you have to join them together. It may look like it's wrong, but you're actually connecting the positive to a negative on the next battery. Then you go to the next battery, you do the same thing, a positive to the negative. So on this picture, a lot of these batteries have blue and red on the batteries. Yours may have a different color. They might be a blue and a black but you're connecting to parallel them together, create one big battery. You parallel the red to the blue and you continue on with each battery until you join them together and it creates one big battery. Then from your bike, you're connecting the positive over to the first battery or the last battery and you're, I mean the negative, and then you're connecting the positive to the other end of the battery. So you cannot connect this wire in between these batteries, otherwise you're only gonna gain the power of wherever you started. So if you took it from the end and brought it over to the next one, you're only connecting three batteries and you're leaving out that fourth one. So you have to connect it from the far end, negative or positive, and then the same at the last battery. Here's a an example on the real batteries in this moped right here so this bat this the wires we do have a black wire so that's your your negative and then the red wires are positive but as you can see on this bike the original wire is orange so and it has a fuse to it so that's how you can know which one is your positive most of them will have a fuse or should have a fuse. So this is this orange one is your positive. So see, just like in a picture, it's starting off at the uh, last battery for your your positive, and it doesn't matter if you wanted to put that wire all the way at the this side. The main purpose is to be from one end to the other end of where your battery wires will connect. So on mines, I have the uh, negative going to the far end, the positive going to the, uh, the closest one to the wires, and your positive. Now, as you see on these batteries, they have red for positive, blue for negative. So you're connecting them together. Red to the negative, then you go to, from that battery to jump to the next battery. Red to the negative to your next battery and then red to the negative. Now the batteries are all parallel together to create one big battery. And then you connect your 
positive to the last battery, I mean your negative to the last battery or positive either or as long as you got from your bike one negative, one positive going from one end of the batteries to the next end. So you would use the same diagram even if you had two batteries. So if you had two batteries, you will connect your negative to the last battery then you would jump these two batteries together from your positive to your negative and then your main red wire your positive would connect here then that would be connecting two batteries and if you had three batteries it would be the same thing you're just jumping from same thing put your negative battery cable all the way to the end join the batteries to the first one to the second one and then the second one to the third one now your positive will go here now you join three batteries together and then like on this picture we have four batteries and you continue on if you had a fifth battery you would follow the same steps and just add another battery six batteries the same thing you parallel them together to create one big battery whether you had two batteries six batteries or eight batteries you would follow the same steps to create one big battery as shown in this diagram you would just keep continuing it to to create to, to uh, create this one big battery if you end up crossing these wires the wrong way you will once you get to connecting this last wire you will end up blowing your fuse from because then then it will react like you put the negative and the positive all to the same terminal so it would end up sharking out your system and blow your fuse and if you don't have a fuse you can end up blowing out your controllers so keep that same steps negative positive to a negative positive to a negative positive to a negative go to your bike connect it to the negative to the negative and at the other end, positive to the last battery, positive. And that's how you parallel uh, electric batteries for your scooter, moped, or motorcycle.